my sassy fit queens. How y'all doing today? Y'all know who I am, right? Duh, Chiquita Nicole. Yes, that's me. So today is another segment of Sassy Fitness Empowerment Fridays where I will provide you with health and wellness tips that you can use in your day-to-day -day lives. So look at this. I have a new recipe for you all. So I have posted a lot of my vegan recipes and I've been getting a lot of feedback which I'm excited about and this particular one I was requested to do a video so I call this my sweet potato and butternut squash piece and I basically just have sweet potatoes carrots I use apple but in this case I'm going to use a little bit of mango and some butternut squash soup so it's going to be absolutely delicious so in a moment, I'm going to bring you to my kitchen so that you can see the process. All right, come on back. Let's do it. All right, so first things first, let's get a pot of water and add some sea salt. I like to do this so that when I add my vegetables to the pot, it has a little bit of seasoning. No, I'm fine. All right. Now, as you see, the water is getting hot, and I'm adding a sweet potato. I cut it in half. It's only a half of one, and it's easier to boil that way. Now I got some carrots. Mm, bye. Ooh, we look like my water getting a little hot here, but that's all right. We're gonna do that doggone thing. Add all those carrots. All right, now I'm gonna use some mango spears. And as I mentioned before, I normally add apples, but I ran out of apples, so hey, mango spears it is. I'm sure it's still gonna be delicious. Yes. All right, all right. Look at that good boy we got going on the vegetables. Woo I sure filled that pot up good, didn't I? <laughs> oh, yes, I did. All right. So I'm going to stick a fork in the potato because that's the one that's going to take the longest to boil. Just want to make sure it's good and tender on the inside. That way when it's time to blend it, it'll be good to go. I think I got it good there. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And I'm going to peel the skin off of it before I blend it. Yeah, that's a little, that's hot there. I'm going to speed it up so y'all don't have to watch the end. Woo, 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 it's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> going to speed that thing up. I'm going to take all the skin off. So I'm going to cut that in half so I can fit it in the blender. And for those who's wondering what kind of blender I'm using, it's the Ninja. Mm, 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 mm. Ninja, Ninja. I might put that other one in there. Don't count the like so. Now I'm going to come over here and add these carrots that's sitting waiting patiently. And the few mangoes that I added to the water, I'm going to add that as well. So we're going to speed this little process up too. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so we got it all in there. And we're going to... Um, Get ready to blend that together really good after we add some Granny Smith applesauce. It's the unsweetened kind. Didn't have apples, but I had applesauce. So and there you go. Add that right in there. Applesauce is so delicious. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
So now we're going to blend those ingredients together. Look at that come together so nicely. Mm -hmm. You gotta make sure you blend it because it's gonna be very hard to try to smash it with a fork and get the consistency. So blending is the way to go. Now we got that nice and blended. And we're gonna go ahead and add some pure vanilla extract. Add a little bit of vanilla flavor. Mm -mm, you don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. And guess what? Some vanilla oat milk creamer, non dairy. That is some good stuff. If you have not tried it, you must. It's delicious, I'm telling you. We're gonna blend that together. Y'all hear that? Oh, good. Uh, the sound of a window. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to take that out, and I know that look good, yeah, looks uh, amazing. Now we're going to add some ground nutmeg, I love spices, in this kind of dish it's really really good. Got some ginger, some ground ginger. And my favorite, nature's seasoning. For any of you who have watched any of my other recipe videos, you will learn quickly that I put that on everything. Yes, I do. It is just the perfect blend. Now in this container, I got some brown sugar that I'm going to add. I'm only going to add a little bit, but feel free to add whatever your hearts desire. Make sure it tastes good for your buds. I don't need a whole lot. Now we're going to add some ground cayenne pepper. Mm -mm. Add just a little bit of spice. If you're like me, you're just going to add a little bit. You don't want it, I don't want it too spicy, especially for the kids. But if you like it spice, feel free to add whatever your heart's desire. Now I'm going to add the butternut squash soup. Creamy, vegan, yummy, organic. Mmm, mmm. All the goods. I decided to do this. You can definitely feel free to add, you know, fresh squash. That is your choosing, but this is what I like to add to mine. Now I'm gonna add some ground cinnamon. Mmm, mmm. those ingredients together if I can get the top on it Check her out. Ooh, whoa, that look good. Check, look at that, look at that. Ooh, that looks amazing. And we're not even finished yet. Got a little bit more steps to go. All right, so now I'm gonna add some Himalayan pink salt. I'll just add a little bit, um, just to kind of, you know, separate the sweet and the salt, or balance out the sweet and salt. I, I put salt in anything that I make that sweet. It just, it tastes good. <laughs> Gonna blend that in there too. All right. That looks good. I think we're ready to transfer it to the pot. Pour that right on in there like so. Mm. Don't that look amazing? Yes. We'll add the rest of it. Can we 
none behind. Gotta tear all of that up. <laughs> but I added to the pot to let it cook and simmer and thicken a little bit more. Make it so delicious, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna transfer it over to this warm burner, hot burner, realistic. Mix it around a little bit. Yeah, make sure it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. And guess what? Voila, yes. Now this I topped with some parsley flakes, pumpkin seeds, but feel free to top it with whatever your heart desires. This I love to garnish it with. Let's see what my little man think. Oh, let's say the grace, boo. Say the grace. Now this is my picky son. He real picky. Let's see what he think. <laughs> I guess he liked it. I got the thumbs up. All right. Both my boys are picky, but he's the pickiest. And he will definitely tell you if he don't like something. I think we got a winner. All right. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and follow the steps and make it your own. Let's do this. <laughs> 